calendar from 1991. Hmm, guess they really liked that year. Okay. A computer. They likely keep records of their patients on it. Okay, let's talk to the nurse. What's up, nurse? Excuse me, nurse? Nurse. Hey, nurse! <sighs> yeah? <laughs> they don't pay you much, huh? No shit. What do you want? I'm here to see Charles Wade. Never heard of him. Anything else? Bullshit. Never heard I know of he's him. here. Listen, it's okay. I'm a friend of the family. No, you're not, and I said he's not here. Don't make me call security. Okay. What a bitch. I need to get rid of her somehow. Uh, let's see if, uh, what's his face can help us. I didn't even catch his name. What's his name? Is it Lenny? Goober. Go home, Goober. Hey, doofus. Oh, hi! So, how good an actor are you? The best! Oh, oh, oh. The very best! You know, that nurse in there, she said she loved you in all those movies. And that she That's always true. wished you'd give her a live performance. I knew it. She always gave me these strange looks. I thought it was contempt, but her face must just be cramping up from shyness. Yeah, yep, that's, that's it. definitely it. She'd love to see you act, I'm sure. I'm gonna have to oblige. Which movie do you think she'd like the best? Oh, geez. Um, I think How the about usual surprises. the usual surprises? Business as usual. Best. No thanks. Women's magazines make my brain. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. I don't want to interrupt. Okay, so we need to get our headphones off. Like for good. That wasn't really an electrified. Rows and columns of files. Probably. E okay. Hello. Again? No thanks. I'm gonna have to think outside. I can't read it from here. Smoking aloud. Guess this place is a bit behind. Well then let's light it up, daddy-o. I prefer to smoke outdoors. Oh. Uncomfortable hard plastic chairs. Was expecting plastic, but this looks like a real plant. Okay, a real plant. So I'm gonna have to do something. Maybe I have to tase him. Maybe I can tase the computer. I can't do anything while she's sitting there. Got it. Oh. No point. I wouldn't even know what room to go to. Well, then why'd you walk all the way over there? Jeez. So maybe we have to choose a different... Um, maybe we have to choose a different movie. Hey, doofus. Oh, hi. Hey. Sure. Um. Probably. Oh, I'm going to go from the top. Again? I no have thanks. So many left to say. My Are you sure she would object to that? Can't be. Hold me. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Good idea, but it wouldn't match his symptoms. Oh, so we gotta match the symptoms. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we're gonna tase him. So what is what are the movies again? Is it Jacob's Bladder where he goes all? Hey, doof. Hey. Shut. Sure. 
Oh, How is this one? The business. Yeah, I picked the right one from the beginning. I just didn't tease him. Teasing time. Teasing time. I can't believe you guys did all this for me. You know why? Uh, what's this smell? Bacon? Oh, Bobby, my head hurts. <laughs> Nurse, he's seizing. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh oh. Man, I feel like a total jackass. I'll have to make it up to the poor guy later. Yeah, sure. I think it's fine. Um. Okay, we don't know the login. But we still have the floppy disk, right? Do, do, do. C. Mendez. I got to write this down, don't I? Maybe it'll type it in for me, but if not, I want to just have it written down. C. Mendez. What is this? Oh, odor gator. All right. Do we, I don't think we need to corrupt the hard drive. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Good thing we wrote it down. Incorrect password. What are you talking about? T O R G A T O R. Did I type in something wrong? Oops. C M E N D E Z O T O R G A T O R. What? Why is this not working? Employee of the month, Carlita Mendez. <laughs> what a joke. It's that obnoxious nurse. Maybe she's the only employee. Rows and columns of files. <sighs> Maybe I wrote it down wrong. I'll try it again. Dr. A. Friedman, St. Francis Medical Center, Kansas City. The patient was, has undergone successful invasive heart surgery and was transferred to this facility at his own request. The initial prognosis looks good and the patient is likely to make a full recovery in six to eight weeks. This was from 824, room 6B. What about um, Rain? Joseph Irving Rain. So on 816, the patient was brought in by law enforcement in a state of confusion, no apparent exterior trauma, pupil dilation normal, unresponsive to other stimuli, possible stroke, referring to neurologist for further diagnosis. Do we need to look up anyone else? What 
what was the what was the pastor's name? The priest's name? It was Isaac something, wasn't it? Isaac. Maybe we can just type in Isaac. Nothing. Hmm. Do we want to look up anyone else? Oh, maybe um, what's her name? Lily uh, Myers. Nothing. Lily Meyer. Lily. Okay. I guess that's it then. Six B is the room. To the upstairs. Found Charles Wade. It's all right, Claude. Claude. Understood, sir. Some kind of security. So, you managed to find me. I yes, did. Yes, I did. Well, let's get this over with then. How do you want your pictures? Shall I get some tubes to fill my face with? Will that suffice for your front page? I'm no journalist. It's not what I well, want. Not yet, anyway. Ah, she's but a cub. So. You're hoping for your big break. Surely this must be worth an internship at one of the big papers. Do you want me to call Thompson at the Times and get it over with? I still play golf with him every once in a while. It's not what I'm here That's about. not what this is about. It's personal. Sounds serious. Perhaps I should ask Claude to produce his gun. You know, Charles, the person most likely to be harmed by a gun tends to be its owner. Very true. That's something the Japs who captured me learned the hard way. Did my grandfather bail you out then too, or was that one of the few times where he didn't save your sorry ass? Hold on there. Explain yourself. You're willing to listen to something other than your own voice? I'm stunned. Wow. <sighs> I'm Kathy Rain. Joseph was my grandfather. Now I remember. You were at the funeral. I Wait, was. You were at the funeral? You were late. I needed my morning smoke. Besides, it's not like Grandpa was going anywhere. <laughs> oh, just look at her, Claude. She's absolutely fearless. That's Joseph's blood running through her veins. She certainly has a smart mouth, sir. I must say, you have me intrigued, Kathy. What can this old man help you with? Did you buy Lily Meyer's art? Actually, let's Do ask you recognize the call sign, Cocky? Would be strange if I didn't, since I was the one who coined it. It belongs to a fellow named Jimmy Cochran. He was a coward, really. The nickname is somewhat of a bad joke. Jimmy Cochran. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> You bought a okay. number of paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art from time to time. Martha, my wife at the time, was enamored with the paintings. Okay. I believe she first saw them at the high school which the Myers girl attended. Anyway, after the poor girl killed herself, I bought the paintings speculatively. Uh -huh. When a young artist with any talent to speak of commits suicide, it can be a wet dream of certain connoisseurs. Shortly after procuring the art, I had it valued by an expert who determined that the value was three times the amount I bought it for. Today, I'm sure I would have made my money back tenfold or more if it wasn't and for the art theft. theft. What art theft? There was a burglary at the mansion I used to own here in town. It was all over the local news at the time. Well, shit. Eloquently put. Okay. Can you tell me about the art theft? Well, somebody broke in, stole the paintings, and got out. Fairly clumsy job. Lots of broken windows. The strangest thing was, was that I had a Monet, a Rembrandt, and two paintings by Picasso. Untouched. Right. But every single painting by an unknown local artist, gone. That can't be a coincidence. Agreed. Somebody wanted those paintings badly. I assume there was an investigation. Yes. Sheriff Truman came by with his deputy a few hours later. 
but they didn't have much luck. They yeah, found they a few hairs, which turned out to be from Raffles, the family dog. Some stunning police work right there. Indeed. There was a single witness, though, who said he could make out multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime, but nothing more than that. So, I take it the case was closed? Yes. I honestly didn't care much one way or the other, given the fact that my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff about the matter, if that's okay with you. Well, who was the witness Certainly. to? Certainly. I'll call ahead and instruct him to give you everything you need. That'd be great. Thanks, Charles. Anytime. But I'm curious. What's your interest in the paintings? I've learned that my grandfather went to Sue and asked to see them, right before he had his injury. Is that so? Strange. Yes. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? I wish I did, Kathy. You must know I did everything in my power to help. How do you think Mary Elizabeth could afford all that expensive treatment? MRIs, neurologists, say what you will about Joseph. But he was never rich. Strange. Grandma never mentioned that to me. She's just too proud. At first she refused. She was convinced that I had an agenda, that there were strings attached. I think that's and the first time there? we heard our grandma's Don't be name. silly. Despite all that had happened, I still loved Joseph dearly. I wanted to help. People from places like this have a deeply rooted mistrust in the rich, passed on for generations. In her eyes, I had become one of them. Well, so I mean, that's all you know earlier, about the whole affair? So. Are you implying that there's more to know? I left the diagnosis to the professionals. Mrs. Rain accepted the health care, but asked me to stay out of everything else. So I did. I see. What can you tell me about your friendship with Grandpa? Joseph was the best friend I ever had. We grew up together. Married our high school sweethearts together. Went to war together. I can't even begin to count the number of times he's saved my life. I repaid the favor once or twice. But he came up ahead, no doubt. So, when did you two lose touch? I heard that something happened between you and him. What was it? <sighs> the truth is, Brian Rain happened. Sharon Evans happened. My Brian parents? Rain. Oh, yes. yeah. They ruined everything with their vile, destructive behavior. I couldn't have that around my daughter or my newborn grandson. Joseph was naive. He believed that anyone could be helped, that anyone could be reasoned with, given a chance. Mm. He was just too good, bless him. He should have been harder on Brian, more strict. It's hardly Grandpa's fault. He did yeah. everything he could to set my father straight. Oh, I never claim to doubt Joseph's commitment. But I'm not going to ignore his flaws, either. Your grandfather often used his heart when he should have used his head. You say that like it's a bad thing. I believe it is, objectively. But I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Eventually, my company grew much too large for this little town, and we moved on. Not long after that, your grandfather ended up in that wheelchair. That marked the end of our friendship, for obvious reasons. Interesting. All right. Tell me Here's about Jimmy Cochran. Jimmy Cochran. Is he still alive? In a literal sense. He's been held in a mental institution for years. Let me guess. Since 81? Either 82 or 83. I'm fairly certain it was early 83. Do you remember the name of the institution? Something starting with an E. Uh, Emerson. Everett, okay, starts with similar. an E. Ingstrom? Ingstrom Psychiatric Hospital? Yes, that's the one. You know the place, Kathy. Uh, uh yeah, I'm familiar with it. I've passed the building a few times in the city. So, do you know why Jimmy ended up in there? Some obsessive-compulsive syndrome. 
he became fixated with circles and started hurting himself, trying to scratch the circles out of his head. Creepy. Three circles. I wonder what set him off. I think I'll check the place out tomorrow. Too late to head back to the city now. Do you recognize this, Charles? Of course. Your grandfather, me, Jimmy Cochran, taken shortly before we went to the war. You guys look like you just won the lottery or something. Indeed. We were mere children, with no concept of what we were getting into. Um, let's just show him the picture. What do you see in this picture, Charles? Fireflies would be my best guess. They can grow terribly large around these parts. Do you know what flower? this is? A flower. Why don't you consult a botanist instead of bo All right. What uh, can you tell about me about the Church the of the Holy Trinity? They seem like any other church to me. But then again, I'm not their usual clientele. Weddings, baptisms, and funerals are just about what I can muster. And I always leave early. Thanks, okay. Charles. That's all I need for now. You're welcome, Kathy. Looks like Wade brought some of his old tombs with him. Hmm. Anything else around here? A private phone. Wade must get special privileges here. Just some boring landscape paintings. Is it a Just some Myers boring painting? landscape paintings. Hmm. I'd rather not. He crushed me like a twig. Anything else? I guess not. Thank you.